Well, hey everybody, and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today, I'm going to show you a recipe for some awesome crock pot chicken. You're not going to want to miss this. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. I am your charming host, Chef John Polite. And if this is your first time watching, or you just want to learn how to make awesome, awesome food, or maybe even start your own cooking channel, then go ahead and do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button right there, and then click on that notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload new content. All right, well, you clicked on this video to watch me show you how to make an awesome crock pot chicken. So let's head into the kitchen and see what our ingredients are. All right, our ingredients are gonna be olive oil, ketchup, soy sauce, ginger, salt and pepper, a lime for some lime juice, garlic, and of course the star of the show, some boneless chicken thighs. All right, I have put salt and pepper on these chicken thighs here, and we're just gonna throw them into this pan full of the olive oil to just brown them off before we place them into the crock pot. All right, we'll keep an eye on these, just brown them off. Meanwhile, while those thighs are cooking and browning off, we'll add our ingredients. We've got our soy sauce, our ketchup, three cloves of garlic, and I'm just gonna use my handy dandy garlic crusher to get that in there. There we go. That's one. And two. I used one large one and one normal size clove of garlic. Got our teaspoon of ginger right in there. Juice of a lime. Now I'm going to save the other half to finish this one it's on the plate so I'm gonna set that aside and then we're gonna add our last ingredient which is the brown sugar this will be in the description box below this recipe now I'm just gonna whisk this up and get it ready for our chicken all right I like to uh, get the crock pot turned on kind of get it warm to continue the cooking process but here we go we're just gonna transfer these thighs right into the crock pot. Okay, salt and pepper, browned off, ready to go. I'm actually going to just throw the oil that we cooked them in right in there as well. Okay, we got that chicken in the crock pot there. I've got the seasoning, I'm sorry, I have the sauce right here. Take the whisk out. We're just going to pour this right in there with the chicken. And then we're going to cover that baby up. And we're just going to let this cook for two and a half hours. And we got about 40 minutes to go. That's what it looks like in there in the pot. It smells fantastic. And I've got some rice going over here. And we got a little bit of a frizzy salad that I'm going to make along with that. And then we'll check this out when it's done. Here we go. This is the chicken. Smells fantastic. It is breaking up nicely. Some little pieces here you can see. I've got the rice here. I stirred it up. That's why the spoon has rice on it. Uh, this is all cooked too. What we're going to do now is we're going to plate this up and make it look beautiful. Take some gorgeous pictures of it for social media. And then we'll find some groovy music to lay underneath that on the timeline. And we'll come back and we'll taste it. Here is 
use the chicken. I'll give you a better view once we hook this up to the tripod as you watch me take a bite and let you know how this tastes. But this is a beautiful plate and it smells really good. This is a nice frizzy salad here. So, All right, so there is that bite of chicken. It's got some really, really good aroma coming off that plate that uh, we'll give this a try. Wow. That was very, very good. That chicken was so tender. This went right through it just like butter. Uh, you can taste that soy sauce in there. The oil, it's oily. Uh, the ginger, the garlic, the ketchup in there with that saltiness. It kind of brings it all together. It's a really, really good idea and a really, really good recipe. So give this recipe a try next time you want to do chicken in the crock pot. It's very good. Thanks a lot for watching. All right, well, I've got this recipe right down there in the description box. And there's also some other things I'd like you to check while you're down there. One, I've left two links down there for my e-commerce store where I sell my seasoning, spices, and herb blends. Two, if you're a YouTuber and you are a creator, then you need to check that TubeBuddy link Go ahead and hit that. That will give you the views and the subscribers that you need to make your show a success. And then three, all my affiliate links for all my equipment that I use are down there as well. They are affiliate links, so I do get a little bit of a cut every time somebody buys something that I recommend. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so yet. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Leave us a comment down below. And then make sure you share this video and this channel with everybody you know. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time right here on It's Only Food. Take care. Bye-bye.